Well, let's hope all that previous footage was recorded. I just started a new clip, because an hour and a half is too long. Um, the new recording software I'm using seems to be pretty good so far. Like the files it makes are a lot smaller at least, which seems like a good sign. Um, yeah, it would be, it's not like it would be a real shame if like the last hour wasn't filmed. God knows did much not much happened. Okay, Squirrel of Amnesia. I really hope this works. <laughs> I do want to reset my skills training, thank you. Okay, what do I really need? Dagger first and foremost. Dagger again. Okay, don't care about short sword. I want skilled and long sword. And I want skilled and two up in combat. And then for the heck of it, I will take Skilled in Thievery. Cool. Um, and now I'm down to one or two skill slots left. Or sorry, zero or one skill slots left, because I can't advance short sword, which would require two. Skill slot math always confuses me. Honestly, I don't know how many Thievery takes. I think since it's a non-combat non skill, it's probably like one, one, two, two, whatever. But I'm not totally certain. Hmm, what else did I want? Oh, right, I wanted to read spell books. So let's first just see, identify the weights of these. Uh, one lot. I'm going to read that so I don't really need to re label it. This one I'm probably never going to read. But just so I know what it is. Um, for Val. Red. Okay, and then put in the spell books that I'm not going to read immediately. And then name the spell books I'm about to read, because half the time I forget to do that. So this way I know they've been read once. Magic Missile, lovely spell to have, although as a rogue I don't get much use out of it. Healing, also a lovely spell to have. I might get a little more use out of that. Um, certainly useful if I have a pet. I might go Magic Missile that dog after I do uh, Ludios. Did I say Magic Missile? Magic Whistle. Either way, I meant Magic Whistle. Um, can't wait till I can read level 3 spell books. That's like where all the useful ones are. There's a new evil hack spell called Repair Armor, which is super nice. Um, it repairs your armor. Shockingly. Oh, and I have knock now, so I can go to the crystal chests. Um, if there's one on the way, I'll get it, but... Oh, and drain life. That's incredible, because now I can drain my life, shockingly. Um, and I can do drain for gain. Uh, it does, it's not Well, it's not specifically drain for gain in the same way as 3.4.3, but with my higher stats now, I can like drain myself and retake myself back up to this level and I'll have higher health and stuff. I might wait until I get like a ring of increased constitution or something because I think you get a better bonus if you have higher than 20 constitution. And my wisdom's not even maxed yet, so I don't know. Um, name all these books, super tedious. Okay, all the spell books are named. We're dumping them back in the chest. Now I'm kind of regretting increasing thievery because I have a bunch of spells that I can train. Um, currently none of them are like amazing though. Detect Monsters is. Okay, fine. I do want to train Divination as soon as possible. He caught me. But right now it's kind of hard to because I'm at 56% fail. And I don't think I have any metallic armor. Leather armor doesn't do much. It does increase spellcasting failure but not by much. So mm, I think I'm going to leave off. I might stop knock, knock a couple times. And indeed, I'm going to bring a couple extra food rations to facilitate uh, some spell training. With that, I think we're ready to go. Um, I'm going to zap, knock at this door, try it out. 
Awesome. Um, and just a couple more times. Oh, I don't know if that unlocked the chest. No, it didn't because the door blocked it. I didn't know that. Cool. Okay. We're finally, finally on our way to Ludios. This is so exciting. Um, and real quick, we're going to check out the crystal chests. Um, most recently, I was playing a knight, and if you zap knock downwards, then you get kicked off your saddle. So you can stand on top of a crystal chest and um, and zap knock downwards to unlock it, but I've gotten in the habit of going off to one side so I don't continually fall off. Ooh, speaking of knights, um, let's stab this dude real quick. I wonder if you can scare a horse while it's... Oh, it has jump. He has, no, he's just a knight, so he can jump. Um, let's see if this horse can get. Yeah, it can get scared. That's cool. Um, not super useful unless I actually hit it, but it is there. Here we go. And dead. Uh, yeah, so, um, knights, knight player monsters have the jumping property, um, but they, uh, they aren't restricted in the same way as actual players are. They can, they just jump at you. There's no L shape or anything like that, and they don't use it when they're running away. That would be super annoying. Um, I picked up this other oil skin bag um, because it's lighter than a leather one, so it's just a little bit better. Dragon hide is even heav heavier than leather, but it's leather than it, but it's also fireproof, so you can like walk across lava with one. Um, so that's definitely worth it. But a cloth bag is better than a leather bag, just hands down. Uh, okay, so we're going to keep going up, 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 and away. Um, and we're going to go to that Master of Thieves soon enough. Patience, patience. Okay, I'm so excited. We're finally doing this. Oh, and I'm just going to check out this right pathway. Cool, I guess. Uh, and I have full power, so... I'm just going to zap it a couple times. Um, it's good for training. Also, an evil hack, when you zap a spell successfully, you increase your knowledge of it, like how long before the memory runs out, um, by some amount of turns based on your intelligence. Um, if you're a wizard, and you have, you'll have high intelligence, obviously, and you also, if you have the eye of the Ethiopica, um, you can easily rem keep memorized like um, a good. Uh, what was I saying? You can keep like a good half dozen low, low level spells memorized indefinitely just by casting them over and over. Um, okay, I have my oil skin cloak on, so I fear no eel. Um, I had a fun death lately, so uh, Illithid Priests are a real favorite of mine. Um, I was playing one and I got it down to mid- ah, I'm still flying, okay. I have Paranoid Swim, so I wouldn't have died anyway, even if I wasn't flying. But I forgot that the flying was on, so I was freaked out when I moved. Um, what was I saying? Any more eels? No, okay. Uh, so I had this Illithid Priest that had gotten down to Medusa, and I was just like hanging out there doing stuff. Um, killed like the Titan that sometimes spawns there. I was feeling good about myself. Went into the main level and encountered a, an electric eel. And for some reason, I don't know why, I assumed that electric eels, eels weren't very big. Um, 
and I looked it up later because they're actually large. They're like 10 feet long. I mean, I still don't think they could drown you in real life, but they're, they're big. Um, anyway, I, I decided that they probably weren't very large and probably they just shocked you and didn't actually try to drown you. So I went up to it and kind of mindlessly hit, like, melee it um, a couple times. Um, and I did not have... My RC file was not very souped up at the time. So it didn't have any... Um, it didn't stop when, like, you got the message about an eel swinging itself around you. AC negative 19, that's brutal. Um, luckily, I don't think thieving depends on AC. Don't quote me on that. Fails horribly. Yikes. Huh. I'm kind of surprised I'm doing so badly. I've got a leather armor. My dex is high. It might be that I don't think it depends on AC. So yeah, I'm surprised that this isn't working at all. Ouch. Okay. I got some daggers. That's useless. And gold dragon is wrecking crisis. The problem is he'll like jump on top of the golden dragon if he can. Hopefully an orc will jump on top of the dragon first. That would be funny. Uh oh, they're next to each other now. That's not good. Anyway, back to the Elithid Priest on Medusa's level story. Um I missed the level the message about it grabbing me and it promptly drowned me. And I just stared at the screen in shocked disbelief for a little while. Fun times. The way any proper net act death should end. Stun disbelief. I'm shocked he's not jumped on top of the dragon yet. Totally shocked. And very relieved. Oh, silver arrows are falling in. That's not great. I would much rather they stay up on the surface. Should I throw daggers at Crisis? I don't want him to pick him up. That's just one more thing to steal from him. Let's see if I can get something to like zap lightning at him or otherwise do something. What's here? Arrows, I'll take that. I'll leave the ice trolls for now. Woo! Okay, I'm going to kill that real quick. And run away, run away. Um, I suppose since I'm displaced, not being over water doesn't actually improve my chances of not losing arrows too much. But... This is surprisingly painless. Normally Crisis is much more aggressive about um, pushing monsters out of the way and coming at you, in my experience. And so it's hard to clear out all the other monsters. There he is. Scroll of Enchant Weapon, that's neat. Um, I suppose I can try to behead Crisis. Let's just try real quick, see if that works. Okay, I can't hit him. Oh, fuck! What's his damage, anyway? 4d10 weapon physical. I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea how weapon attacks work. I'm not sure if they literally do 4d10 damage, or if they do 4d10 plus whatever weapon they're wielding, which would seem to make more sense. If so, that's a brutal amount of damage. Um... One D twelve plus four D ten. And I think he free energy he free energy he free energied me, which is how I got two attacks in. If I could do hundred and 
actually four damage in a round. Ouch. Um, guess I'm hanging out over here for a while. Get back into my natural state. Oh, shambling horror. This is exciting. Uh-oh. Okay, thank God it's not next to me yet. So Shambling Horrors are a fun new NetHack monster. Their stats are random. So they have a random number of attacks, up to like four I think, that can do various things, which range from stealing from you to uh, draining strength via poison to just straight up beheading you. Although with Vorpal Blade wielded I'm immune to that, thank goodness. Um, and their AC can vary wildly. Negative 9 is pretty low for them. That's lucky. Their resistances can be different things. Anyway, 77 health and negative 9 AC is pretty fragile horror as they go. You can't, so if I try to look them up right now, I get this tongue in cheek encyclopedia entry, but no stats. So you don't get any stats from them until one of them dies, and then you can see what they do. So pretty much the only safe thing is to just take them out from range until you know whether they're actually dangerous or not. Man, this thing will not die. Tempted to lightning him. Oh, it's totally eating my daggers. Is it? I don't, what else could be eating things? I think it's probably a flag you can have. Oh, that's that sucks. I mean, they were shitty daggers, but they were my daggers. Um, fire and cold resistance is more common, I think, for it. But I don't really want to waste lightning. I'm going to go to sleep for now. Come on. I know as soon as I move next to it, it'll attack me. That would just be typical. Okay, thank god the daggers are still here. I guess it wasn't eating them. Is it just happy to hang out now? I, I don't get it. And it doesn't sleep. And presumably it regenerates or something because it's already at 77 health already. They can't cast any spells, thank god. Um, that's most of my daggers come back. I think it did eat some of them though. And it opened a door. I think I'm going to try to lock it in. Uh oh. Don't trap me, don't trap me, don't trap me. Okay. I would like to know what stats it has, but I also would like to not die or have all my equipment get ruined, so trade-offs, you know. Um, yeah, you might have noticed before it has a stunning gaze, which is super annoying. Pretty easy to circumvent, but then you can't see, which is just a pain. Um, we have some trichotrices on our hand, which be pretty useful if I can manage ship crisis with them. I don't know if I can, but... Oh, actually, I think these are all my daggers. I was miscounting. For some reason, I thought I had 15 daggers. Or did I have... I definitely have 13 at one point. I don't know. But if one of them on poison, then it would go from 13 and 5 to 14 and 4, so that makes total sense. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Um, on the right side dragons are not... Oh, does it phase or something? Jesus. That's not great. Okay, take two. Electric boogaloo. 
I'm going to start off with the poison on the off chance that it just insta kills. That'd be nice. It did. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, let's see what that about. Large, okay, can cling to the ceiling. That's why it wasn't moving before. It had hidden. It diseases. That's not great. Level drains, definitely not great. Shocking and webbing is also pretty bad. But none of it is like totally deadly. I think when I get drain resistance and it, maybe if I have like gold dragon scales or something, I, I'd be comfortable engaging it in melee. Resists fire and shock, but not cold. So that's something too. Doesn't eat things. That's nice. Um, it never leaves a corpse, so... It, unfortunately, there's no like random resistance granting or something like that. That would be pretty cool, but it doesn't happen. Um, okay. I'm wearing my gloves. Let's see how this works. I missed. Uh, and not the chickatrice. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten that close. Hoping I can get the troll. Yes. Well, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Now I don't have to worry about him reviving anymore. Neat. But yeah, you can see it takes a couple turns. Luckily I can just flee across the water, it doesn't matter to me. Um, you know what? I'm taking out my Ring of Regeneration. It needs warning, am I right? And I have lots of food on me, so... Maybe it's a bit impatient of me, maybe it's a good idea, I don't know. What I'm doing now. Yeah, I just don't think that's happening. Um, putting that in my bag so it's kind of safely out of the way. I hate having a partly li eaten lizard corpse, it totally screws up my inventory. Okay, we're going back to plan A, which was steal from Crisis. I really think that might be the only way I can do anything to him. Another Chikitris Corpse, still wearing the gloves. In you go. Come at me, bro. Yeah, so they can knock you back. Apparently diagonally through doorways seems a little off. Um, luckily I'm fine, so I'm just fine. Wind of Lightning. I think it's used up or he would have been zapping it at me. Actually, I'll take it out and indicate such. I was recently spectating somebody, um, a pretty good player, and they they name their wands how many times they zap them, which is smart, and I should do that. But I don't. Fails horribly. I don't have to rub it in. Um, I swear I saw somewhere that when you steal things and from a monster wearing body armor, you like take their whole inventory, more or less. Somehow it doesn't seem to work for rogues. I th I'm pretty sure it works when doing it with nymphs, so yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Ow, ow. Um, we're getting there though. There's only so much crap you can pick up. 
Actually, there's a lot of crap we can pick up. I'm gonna move it over here. No, I can't pick up much at once, can I? Anything I can put in my bag to avoid getting burdened so much. Yep. I mean, maybe throwing my poison daggers at him would work, but I feel like, honestly, it probably wouldn't. I feel like he gets to attacks quite often. What's his speed? Ooh, 15. That's pretty, 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 pretty fast. It's the same as being intrinsically fast. Oh, I want to force fight. Oops. I'm like stealing all this random crap he's wearing, and it's like... Actually, now that I think of it, I'm not sure if I can steal worn, item, worn armor anyway. I should at least be able to get his longsword, or his greatsword, though. His two-handed sword. That's what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a real pain. Yay, I'm five poisoned arrows, Richard. It's so exciting. Oh, okay, he was probably wearing those before. Wait, was he? Dwarvish boots actually probably wasn't. I'm pretty sure he gets... No, he only sometimes gets kicking boots. Oh, the magic eye got me. The stun. That's not too bad. I think they might have some sort of... luck affecting gaze. Yes, they do. But I don't. I think you get a message about that, so it didn't end up getting me with it. I suppose you could maybe ten magical eyes to use in a, like in an emergency, like a, a gamble if you have negative luck or something to get positive luck. Um, but that's such a niche case, and if your luck is so low, you're doing something wrong anyway. Whoa! You just moved two spots at once and didn't attack me. folks slowly okay we got his helm he's at AC negative 11 that's quite manageable oh yes got his plate mail that's what it's all about oh he's banded mail my bad I'm surprised I didn't see any message about, um, like, trying to take it off. Like, that normally happens with, in other cases, I feel like. Well, that took a while. Yeah, tracks. Frickin' thrones, am I right? Um, okay, I think we're gonna leave off here. If we look what's in here. Oh, that's a pretty good haul. Identify taming. Water and gain ability. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, I'm just... I may not sound it, because I'm, like, kind of tired, but I'm over the moon about having finally gotten Crisis in a fair fight. Um, that dude is... that dude is annoying. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.